Dieting is more common today than in the past. Why? Eating disorders. Between 10% and 30% of young women meet the DSM-4 or DSM-5 criteria for eating disorders. Anorexia. The first two documented cases of intentional self-starvation were in 1689. In London, Sir William Gull studied several cases in the 1860s. He coined the term anorexia nervosa to indicate the loss of appetite due to nervous causes, for example, psychological factors. This definition of anorexia is intentional weight loss to the point that a person weighs less than 85% of the weight considered normal by the MetLife insurance tables or has a body mass index of 17.5 or less. Recall that the MetLife insurance tables reflect weight ranges with lowest mortality. From 1910 to the 1930s, some tried to link it with the atrophy of the anterior lobe of the pituitary. During the 1940s and 50s, some psychiatrists believed it was denial of femininity and fear of motherhood, or it was an attempt to reestablish unity with the mother. In the last two decades, we have shifted away from this explanation toward a learned syndrome of behavior. Pike and Roden in 1991 found that girls with eating disorders have moms who had more eating problems themselves and who believed that their daughters were less attractive and believed their daughters should lose weight compared to girls who did not have eating disorders. Bruch regards anorexia as a means of gaining control seeing parents as over-demanding or over-controlling. Becky Thompson, in 1994, proposes that women use eating as a way of coping with problems in their lives. Demographics of anorexia. Subtle shifts in populations at risk seem to have taken place. In the 1970s, it was most common among the upper and upper middle class. During the late 80s and early 90s, the pursuit of thinness became more evenly distributed throughout social classes. It is more prevalent than it was 35 years ago, but still rare. Hoke in 1993 estimated that it occurs in 8 out of every 100,000. Girls between the ages of 15 and 19 are at elevated risk. Those who attend private or professional schools also are at elevated risk. Beglin and Fairburn in 1992 note that women who decline to participate in studies about eating disorders are more likely to have such disorders. Therefore, it is hard to know true numbers. Anorexia has a higher mortality rate than bulimia, making treatment a life or death issue for many. Physical or sexual abuse are more common for anorexics than those with normal eating. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a therapy that attempts to change faulty thinking patterns. For example, it would seek to teach a person to discard all or none thinking. If I gain a pound, I'll go on to gain 100. No treatment offers a high rate of success. It depends on how you measure success. For example, weight gain could be a measure, but the patient may not keep weight on upon release from the hospital. Bulimia means continuous or morbid hunger. Bulimia is recurrent episodes of binge eating, a sense of lack of control over eating, and inappropriate and drastic measures to compensate for binging. Whereas anorexics typically lose at least 20% of their body weight, bulimics are often of normal weight. About half of the people diagnosed with anorexia are also bulimic. Some bulimics fast, but most use self-induced vomiting to maintain a relatively normal weight. Caldwell's in 1983 estimated that 90 to 95 percent of bulimics are women and a nearly identical estimate for anorexics. It is difficult to know prevalence because the definition has changed over previous editions of DSM. The 1980 edition failed to include purging as an essential feature of bulimia, yielding high estimates of its frequency based only on the criteria of binging. The DSM-3R and DSM-4 have stricter definitions including fasting, excessive exercise, or purging as methods of compensating for binging. Therefore, there are decreased estimates of prevalence. Additionally, most studies concentrate on college students. 
Guilt and depression are frequent correlates of bulimia. Authorities question whether depression is a cause or an effect of bulimia. Pope and Hudson in 1984 reported that half of bulimic women had been depressed for a year or more prior to onset. A substantial number have attempted suicide. Two studies found between 20 and 33 percent of bulimics in treatment had made at least one serious suicide attempt. A history of drug and alcohol abuse is common. Bulimics are more likely than anorexics to show substance abuse problems. Many bulimics are kleptomaniacs, meaning that they may steal items unrelated to food or their binging. There are also childhood sexual abuse, physical abuse, and PTSD correlates. Binge eating is harmful in several ways. Intake of large quantities of sweets can result in hypoglycemia, a deficiency of sugar in the blood. The problem is that the high intake of sugar activates the pancreas to release excessive amounts of insulin, and insulin drives down blood sugar levels. Bulimics seldom eat a balanced diet. Binge eating is expensive. Bulimics are usually preoccupied with food, therefore little energy is left for other endeavors. Purging leads to damaged teeth because hydrocaloric acid from the stomach erodes the enamel that protects teeth. It also causes damage to the mouth and esophagus. Anemia, the reduction in number of red blood cells leading to weakness and lack of vitality. Electrolyte imbalance, caused by the loss of body minerals, leads to muscle cramps and weakness. Alkalosis, abnormally high level of alkaline in body tissues due to loss of hydrocaloric acid. Treatment, overall a combination of medical and cognitive behavioral therapy seems to be most effective for bulimia. Binge eating disorder. This is the same type of out-of-control eating as in bulimia, but without the purging. An individual must exhibit frequent binges at least once a week for at least three months with feelings of lack of control. This is more common than either anorexia or bulimia. Binge eating is more common among women. However, among men, binge eating is more common than either anorexia or bulimia.